All right, welcome back to the Mario Kart 8 Mirror Mode run. And to, now that I've done the, both the Nitro and the Retro courses, it is time for me to tackle the DLC Cups. Starting with the Egg Cup with Rosalina. And for the DLC Cups, I'm going to showcase, of course, the new kart body that was introduced in Mario Kart 8, the Quads. So basically, through the Nitro and the Retro courses, I came off with my favourite kart body, the circuit special, which is basically like a Formula One slash indie car hybrid car or chassis, as a lot of people would like to put it. But for th but I'm now going to be switching over to the buggy just to be more, you know, experimental with the DLC stages. And I'm going as Rosalina because you know what, she's my favourite princess. Out of all the print, I don't. That's fairly honest. I don't really. I'm not a big fan of the princess characters as a whole. I'm not particularly. Big on the Bob Peach's uh, of Princess Peach because of the whole, you know, damsel distress thing. But I, I, I so Princess Peach is kind of Princess Peach's uh, voice is a little, you know, too high for my liking. And da Daisy looks like she's too high on the on. Her, looks like she actually drank too much, uh, you know, Red Bull or Monster Energy drink and basically came into a hyper craze. Well, I'm going to say this right now that Rosalina is my favourite character because A, she absolutely got her, you know, per her personality quite much. Well, her personality absolutely fits her, you know, backstory of her being a galaxy princess. The princess of the galaxy itself. Even though her, her appearance is that she has her hair over one of her eyes, which basically... Would it would to have, to have, I don't have any explanation of why that's to be. Maybe she has too much long hair, but but in honesty, I actually think that her design, it, before her personality and her character design, she actually does it. She has a, she's a lot more better. She actually does pretty good. But uh, but but because of her voice acting, it's in this one. She actually has, of course, a lot of. Um, you know, she her she actually has an echoey voice, and she carries Loom of her a lot. But in but in uh, but in this game, but unlike Mario Kart uh, Wii, she actually doesn't have Loom of her this time round. Which, well, but well, it's actually for Kai. I think it's a bit better because you know that she doesn't get too distracted. Can't get too you know distracted with the. Uh, Luma, Luma's sound effects, though, because kind of is a bit off-putting. But of uh, course, uh, but you know, back with the action, I uh, actually nearly finished off my one of my favourite courses from Mario Kart Double Dash Yoshi Circuit. I'm pretty glad they actually brought it back for the DLC release. To be fairly honest, and also early, later, earlier on, I actually my my uh, boomerang power up I only used it once and for some reason it spontaneously combusted in that the uh, explosion of the blue shell I mean what on what on earth did that ever happen <sighs> video game logic at its best folks but now here comes probably my be my most my one of my favorite DLC tracks the excite bike arena absolutely love this stage yeah, because, because it's not a very long circuit, and of course, and of course, you have a lot of jumps to go through. There's a lot of ways to trick boost through through the stage through, and of course, you got this, and you've got, the, the, and you can also use the grass for shortcuts. But if, well, provided you have a mushroom or a golden mushroom, but then again, the game's uh, item ruler is a fairly on it. I'm gonna be honest with you, the item ruler in this game isn't really that. Wasn't as good, isn't a great, is pretty much, you know, made worse in this game because of the reintroduction of the coin power up. Like what I said, consistently getting look, look, the coin, the coin power up is, you know, more constant. Is you, it's easier to get the coin power up more than any other defense, more than defensive items like banana peels or even. Or even shells, but well, much compa comparable with that of Mario Kart 7, you at least do get a shell or even a or even a banana peel guaranteed. But 
that does not even matter because Siri that you have to get all caught you can still get coins consistently you get it even more than that in uh, Super Mario Kart I mean what happened to that part to that I mean, what happened I mean when I mean when was that rule when was it uh, when was that rule getting the coin power up to be uh, you know not as consistent as as it was I mean back in Mario Kart Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo it you didn't get it as much in fact you did actually get a better weapon like a banana peel or a shell in order to actually stop your enemies so I expected the same to happen here but no because because Nintendo didn't want to patch an item roulette do, or even do a simple thing and yet even made DLC for the game or even a few updates to get new amiibo suits for that they just simply left the coin power up to actually be more you know more abundant even though they, I do, you can clearly see there are coins on the track uh, and they even respawn after a few seconds uh. This may be reads it. This may be what I believe Nintendo made a mistake of bringing the coin power up back because it screwed me over in in on the online mode. And I lost so many races because of it. But anyway, gro but anyway, rant aside, it's time for Dragon Drift Way. And in the normal mode, it kind of was quite hard to actually go through. But I believe mirror mode. But how does it fare in mirror mode? Well, let's go and find out. Honestly, I'm let me I'm let me have a look and let me just uh, just judging by that. Ugh. Ouch. Well that wasn't how I demonstrated it last time because you know You know sometimes the AI can be a bit unpredictable, especially when you're playing in mirror mode. And uh, 150 CC. But to give this game uh, credit, at least it's not as bad as Mario Kart Wii when when they keep throwing blue shells or keep consistently spamming the power blocks, the thunder power up. Although, although this cat in this game's case, the lightning power up still, you know, they keep spamming lightning all over to you and red shells and green shells and banana peels so that they can slow your progress down. I mean, the lightning power up goes back to Mario Kart's Super Mario Kart Double Dash logic. Ah! Go, oh, come on, Bowser! Get rid of it so I can hit you. Thank you for that, Bowser. You've just screwed yourself over. <laughs> Bowser just decided to screw himself over by just get rid of his own shell. Let's kick shell. <laughs> Speaking of which, when it, when it, when are they going to bring back the original uh, arcade version? The original arcade version of. Um, TMNT for TMNT Turtles and Time. A bit yet, are we ever going to get a virtual console release of the Super Nintendo ver version? Possibly not even likely, but if it, that doesn't happen, I might as well get myself a Retron 5 and. Might as well get myself a Retron 5 and get myself a copy of that. And my goodness gracious me, I literally just. My look at this gracious me, it's just so... Makes me wonder why uh, Konami doesn't even bother to make good games anymore because of... Because of their scrap against uh, Kojima. I thought the, uh, Konami was originally a good uh, company, but now they've gone the route of, Co of, of, of Capcom, apparently. Oh no. And I managed to get myself down the fourth. All because I went down this hole. Well, not deliberately, but it was an accident. But then again, it was pretty, you know. Ugh. And it is at this point in the recording that my phone began to, you know, conveniently ring at the worst possible moment. So, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to have to uh, cut this part out. So, with that being said, be back in a minute. Eventually. Alright, so I'm back at Mute City, which is apparently, apparently, this is the first, uh, the, this is when um, 
Nintendo decided to bring other franchise, other you know, video game franchises to Mario Kart. In this case, in this case, it's F Zero. Well, they also bought Big Blue as a, a original circuit designer of Blue, Big Blue as well, as well as the original designer of Mute City. Well, to be very honest, I do actually. Actually, I don't really mind the song as much, but the fact is, I don't really like it as much as uh, you know, the the uh, remixed version, the uh, re the uh, re, uh, re uh, the re uh, the, well the the song that happens in uh, the hot song that plays during um, you know Port Town Aerodie from uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. And the music, the Mute City music from S Super Smash Bros. Brawl actually was a kick-ass tune. I absolutely love that song. That's probably my favourite version of the uh, Mute City theme, alongside F Zero X. Not say the F Zero X song, and even the um, and even the uh, and even the Tony Tai version of the uh, of Super of the Super Nintendo version of F Zero X, which was done in the F Zero X instrumentation. But me, but basically, I managed to, you know, uh, get keep the uh, opposition of dust. Well, moment, well, before I started to screw myself over, and Bowser ties to overtake me. Now it's now it's just a final rush to the line. Oh God damn it! The lightning to start. Oh, thanks a lot, lightning, for screwing me over. How dare you? And I actually get, I actually go down a few places because of the friggin' lightning. And, he, and even Peach decides to do this stunt! And this is the reason why I absolutely despise Peach, is because she can absolutely be a bit of a smug. She becomes a bit of a smug. Ah, I'm not going to say it because I wanted to give this as child friendly as possible. Look at that! But basically, thankfully, they decided to, you know, uh, get me, do me a favor and just screw themselves over so that I could eventually get the win. Eventually, the AI decided to, you know, mess up so much that they screwed themselves over and gave me the win, apparently, giving, handing me the advantage back over to myself. Uh, that was a bit of an intense ending, but honestly, I've got to say this right now, at least I managed to get first place in this one. And uh, but the highlight came from... Uh, Mute City. Uh, actually, to be fairly honest, I kind of preferred my race from Excite Bike, Excite Bike Arena, because you know how actually like because uh, here in here I actually didn't. I had more. I had bet. It gave me better opportunity to you know to win, to become a race winner, to actually uh, you you know dominate the field and even give anybody that just deserves if they ever pass me. Despite the fact that I got more coins. Coin power-ups are too abundant in this game. That's the problem with the roulette world in this game. But apparently I still got a star though, even though I finished fourth. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next part for when I'm going to be taking on the... Well, I'm going to be taking on the Triforce Cup with, of course, you know who, a L a Hyrulean warrior we know and love. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in part 10 of the Mario Kart 8 Mirror Mode run.